about how to uh, create a PDF using Adobe Scan and then upload that PDF into Blackboard. This is particularly applicable when you have a homework question or a quiz or exam question in which it asks for a file upload. And those are usually designated with the FIL at the end of the question uh, heading. Uh, what I've got is I've got my uh, problem uh, written out with its solution. And I've got my uh, on my phone, which I'm sharing with you the screen, I've got the uh, Adobe Scan and the Blackboard apps on it pulled up <clears throat> or available. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, and click or press the Adobe Scan button. And when I do that, uh, it comes up. Uh, and it's already looking for a document. Uh, if you've already done some scans that day, I might go to the previous document. But um, And then what I have to do is I have to just hold it high enough so it can capture it. Uh, and then in the lower left, you can see that one there. I'm going to press right there. And when I do, it brings that scan that it just took up. And you can... Uh, Ch make changes with it or whatever you want, but uh, typically it is good enough that you can just hit save PDF in the upper right hand corner. So that's what I'm going to do. It takes a minute to process it and then it will be available to you. Then once it's available, uh, we're going to click the share button. Press it. And you'll come up with a number of options. We're going to share a copy. And scroll down the, the page. And there are a number of options. Uh, I typically save mine to files. And then within that option, I typically save it to Adobe Scan. And then I click Save. And now I've saved my document as a PDF. I will now uh, close the Adobe Scan app, or leave it, I guess, and then go to the Blackboard app. And within Blackboard, you do need to navigate to the actual assignments. Uh, I am not in my class, so I'm going to upload this assignment for a teacher's class that I was a part of this past summer. So courses, in my courses, Structured Remote, and then uh, within Course Content, I will just go to an item, let's see, Module 1, the Course Syllabus, and Course Syllabus and Schedule. So I'm just navigating to the place where I need to upload. You'll see I have uh, one attempt already completed, and I'm going to start Attempt 2. Uh, I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to add content. Actually, this might be a little different than you'll see. But I'm going to click on it. I'm going to add a file. And then it will allow me to go to my files. And uh, my most recent scan is not here. All right. So sometimes it's right up there. But if not, then I uh, scroll down. Oh, I browse, click browse, and I go to oops, uh, recents. Oh, there it is. It took a minute to show up. <laughs> click on it. That was my August 24th. Uh, that's the day I'm making this. And it looks like my additional content is right there. I will now submit. Submit test. You won't be able to make changes later. Uh, in uh, my class, you have infinite attempts, so you can uh, always upload a new document. And that's it. The content is uploaded. Uh, that sound means that I just got an email from PGCC that my submission had been received. And uh, that's always a good backup to know that you're done.